Here we go. I'm going to talk about this one. HJ 47 1980. So the start of the line. This is like the 10th month 1980. And they only started in the 8th month for the 47. And this one, it's back history. We're not too sure. So the new owner of this, Gus, bought it uh, on an auction. Lloyd's. Bid for it on Lloyd's. Won it and decided to do her up. Now he won it this year. He'd done the full resto in 10 months and he did it himself. We've had a relationship with Gus the whole time, coming to Mr. Land Cruiser for new and used. And uh, usually when you, um, you sell parts to guys over several years, they usually don't happen this quick. So um, I believe he might be semi-retired, so he's given it a lot of time and hasn't missed anything either. She has come up a real treat. Now it's, it's, um, it's nice and, it, let's say factory, there's a, a few little things on it that have been updated and we'll get to that, but it's just going for a pretty um, plain HJ47 uh, feel and he's done a great job. This is um, a factory colour as well. So right up the front we've got the ARB bull bar, colour coded, and then back here at the tray it's all colour coded 033, which is the Toyota white from the day. and. Um, gives it its look, so normally you see them black. Also, he's added some XTM uh, LED lights to help out the old Toyota lights. We all know they're not overly bright, so that makes a difference. Now, going around all the trims, everything's been replaced, everything's new. An enthusiast will know that that is an earlier badge, brand spanking new genuine, but um, Gus has put his own touches to the whole vehicle, so he prefers that badge. We've got some Renegade RT. They look pretty good on the, um, the steel sun raisers. And underneath, we've got a fulcrum suspension with raw shocks. So that's holding this bad boy up. And what else can I say? Right behind me, the wood tray. Uh, the sides, it's got the full wood floor. Gus made that all himself. So he's done the whole thing. Like when I say the whole thing, uh, this 47 still all steel. There's no fiberglass, no fiberglass roof. It's all steel. It's another one of those ones. Um, so he's actually painted it himself, done the whole build himself, which leads me to the um, interior. So we'll go have a closer look. Well, she's bloody warm in here today, I tell you. But when Gus is driving the thing, he's um, put retro air in it. So now Gus has got the air con in here. A few other little things, reupholstered seats, brand new hood lining brand new uh, vinyl floor i'm not sure the brand it's not the the genuine and an updated stereo an updated switch and that's absolutely it so what we do know and um gus had stripped this to himself we'll have a look and uh, this center dash uh, does not belong in this model car 1980 did not have this um face on it did not have that ashtray did not have the clock and um, when he's pulled it apart, he can see somebody's chopped into it and put it there. But they are a very sought after dash, so why wouldn't you? Well, he just needs the matching taco, and off he goes. Um, the dash pad's also been re -upholstered. But honestly, uh, this is just, um, he's actually going for the 47 look, so you don't see um, things that are heavily modified. I said, what's your plans next? And he goes, there are no plans, I'm done, I'm enjoying it now. So this is the feel he's going for just a, um, an, an 80, 40 series. And, but I do want to, let's go under the bonnet because it's shiny under there and this car's got a few extras that didn't come with it from Lloyd's auction when he bought it. Bloody hell, I should have my sunglasses on. It's so shiny and the paint job in here is so nice. So um, again, didn't miss anything. Pulled the engine down, painted everything, all the new components. Um, and here's your air con compressor, so the air's inside. It doesn't only have air, but over here we've got 40 factory power steer. So that's been added. And one more little bonus that 1980 didn't get is the disc brake um, upgrade from the later 47. So Gus has gone and put all that in. Alloy radiator, he doesn't have the condenser up the front. He's actually mounted that with a couple of thermo fans up under the tray and it's um, well tucked away in there. I can't see this ever going through a bog hole at the Glasshouse Mountains and getting too much mud in it, so it's ideal for uh, this build. It's just, um, look at it, it's just come up a treat. I've got to say too, I didn't even mention this, but when I said it was all done in 10 months, now we're also talking fully rebuilt the engine, fully rebuilt the box, fully rebuilt the diffs, the brakes, 
everything's so everything's been um, it full cab off, full mechanical rebuild of everything. So they've done really, really well on this job, and it's only been on the road for a few weeks. Uh, today we saw it with the aircon for the first time, so it's now time for Gus to go and enjoy this one. 1980 HJ47.